It's so joyful. It feels like you could fly. It really, it's, it's like, uh, I don't know, you can have an, an experience that is in your body, but it transcends your body. So my name is Marta Santos and I am an associate professor of history at the University of Akron and I specialize in Latin American history. So a lot of people in the United States dance salsa because it's fun, but for, for people like us, for people of Latin American descent, it means more than that. It's kind of a, it's a, a way of building identity in a way. Um, in una, an identity that is in common with other people, with other people of Latin American descent. Well, I'm a professional, I'm trained in, you know, as a historian, but also I'm bringing something that is me to the table. Uh, hi, I'm Lenin Guerrero. I'm uh, from Mexico. I'm teaching the UN class here in the Akron State University. You know, it's like, uh, no, it turned me crazy. It's like, I cannot live without salsa. It's like, like an addiction. I start first start, start to dancing socially, and then I start to train and practice and one more and more. And one beautiful thing about this is that I feel that I don't know yet. You know, I don't. I feel that I don't have it yet. But actually, creating a class in, in which I would be teaching about dance is like a dream come true because I'm doing what I wanted to do for many years and I couldn't do it, or I didn't have the courage to do. That open, they are open the minds to even dance. You know, they are they are stepping in things that they maybe they never think that they will do. When I was growing up, I actually was not allowed to dance because in my family, my family they were very very religious and they thought that dancing was not a good idea. And a lot of the expressions of the body were not not encouraged in the family. I actually asked my mother if she could put me in a dance class when I was like five years old and she said no. So I didn't really learn how to dance in Ecuador at all. So to those people who think that, for example, da uh, dancing is, um, is something that you shouldn't do or is an expression of the body and that, you know, there are a lot of religious ideas about sinfulness associated with dance. What I would say to those people is that um, Dancing is, is an amazing experience that creates community, that it helps you com to communicate with people in different ways, to connect with people in different ways, and it is um, part of the, uh, our human condition to want to dance. And so denying that aspect of your life is, is really hard because it, it, can, it can make you sad. So dancing actually makes you happy. And one of the things that I actually am enjoying a lot from this class is that I'm able to connect with my students in a different way than I ever did, right? Because I always teach uh, from, you know, the teacher who teaches with books and, you know, and all of that. And now I'm actually teaching and I'm dancing with my students and we are holding hands and we are doing all these turns together and they are overcoming limitations that they had and I'm overcoming limitations. I'm overcoming the limitations of being a teacher who wouldn't touch a student or who would be kind of remote. So I, I would say to those people who say, no, um, dancing is you know, something that you shouldn't do, that there is a lot of richness around dancing and salsa dancing particularly because salsa is a, is a dance of community. Um, there is so much richness to it that you are missing an opportunity to explore another aspect of your human condition if you don't do it.